you had a lot of, I think you did like some sort of a test when you were at YC about UBI and you've been- Our public- result in that come out very soon. I uh, just, it was a five-year study that wrapped up um, or started five years ago. Well, there was like a beta study first and there was like a long one that ran. But well, uh, Mark, what, what did you, you learn explain about what, that? Yeah, why'd, yeah. You start, why'd you start it? Maybe just explain UBI and why you started it. Um, so we started thinking about this in 2016, uh, kind of about the same time started taking AI really seriously. And the theory was that the magnitude of the change that may come to society and jobs in the economy and, and sort of in some deeper sense than that, like what the social contract looks like, um, meant that we should have many studies to study many ideas about new new ways to arrange that. Um, I also think that, you know, I'm not like a super fan of how the government has handled most policies designed to help poor people. And I kind of believe that if you could just give people money, they would make good decisions and the market would do its thing. And, you know, I'm very much in favor of lifting up the floor and reducing, eliminating poverty. Um, But I'm interested in better ways to do that than what we have tried for the existing social safety net and and kind of the way things have been handled. And I think giving people money is not going to go solve all problems. It's certainly not going to make people happy, but it might, it might solve some problems and it might give people a better horizon with which to help themselves. And I'm interested in that. I I think that now that we see some of the ways, so 2016 was a very long time ago. uh, You know, now that we see some of the ways that AI is developing, I wonder if there's better things to do than the traditional um, conceptualization of UBI. Uh, Like I wonder, I wonder if the future looks something like more like universal basic compute than universal basic income. And everybody gets like a slice of GPT-7's compute and they can use it, they can resell it, they can donate it to somebody to use for cancer research. But but what you get is not dollars, but this like slice. Yeah, you own like part of the productivity. Right.